this is the first image you'll notice that uh, text may be added uh, to any picture and you'll notice it move around the screen as examples as the show goes on this image is going to leave um, with a transition and it's a horizontal bow there will be different transitions between each picture and um, they will be introduced as they come through for you to watch and see which ones you might be interested in using in your show uh, so play close attention lots of transitions are going to be introduced lots of different effects are going to be introduced pay attention to where you might use them in your show and uh, keep in mind that not all of these should be used in any one particular show uh, text should not be added on any slide remember you're trying to get your story across it's not about how much you can put into a show but it's about getting your story across and too much is never too good. Now you see that same image only with a diffuse glow effect added. As we move to the next picture you'll notice a circle inward transition. Here is another original picture with no effect added and as we leave this image and move to the next one you'll notice a circle out transition. Now here's that same image with a black and white effect added to it. As we leave this image, you're going to notice the transition is a diagonal sweep. I'm only going to show one diagonal sweep, although the program does offer it from any corner of a picture, um, but I saw no need to show it from all four corners. Just know that it is available to you. Once again, we're to an original picture. The reason I'm showing these original pictures before I show the picture with the effect is so you can see what is happening to each of these once the effect is added. I want you to be aware that how the pictures are changing. Now as we leave this picture and head over to the, pic to the image with the effect you're going to notice a diamond in transition. This image has the effect called chalk and, ch chalk and charcoal. That's hard to say. Um, you see this a lot on like police stories where they um, want you to think about the depth of an individual character you know before or after a commercial break or something like that so think about where you might could use this in your story um, if you can and as we leave this you're going to see a fade out to black transition as we go into the next picture have you noticed how the font has moved around on the pictures from one side to the other and changed text and changed color and font size and so forth. Also, as we leave this picture, you're going to notice a separating V as a transition. This can be uh, done from every angle, but again, I'm only going to show it from one direction. Okay, the cool effect on this, pen, this picture is called colored pencil. Kind of an outline with a coloring. Kind of gives a cool effect to the picture. And the transition you're about to see is a flip. It can be done from either side also. The original picture, notice the color font change. Also, as we leave this picture, the transition is a corner inset, which also can be done from any co corner of a picture. Okay, this picture has the effect called negative on it. You'll notice it looks like the negative of a picture. Um, and as we leave this image and move to the next one, we have iris in, and which means all four corners are going to come in as um, the next image is displayed. This can also be done as iris out, where all four, it comes from the center to all four corners out. With this original picture, I'm also showing the zoom technique. Now with this program it allows you to zoom to any area of a picture. I happen to be zooming in on the face of this player. Uh, but you can zoom to any area of the picture. Um, I could have zoomed in on her number or anywhere on that field. Also you can choose the speed with which you want to zoom. You can take it real slow or you can go real fast. Um, now as we move on to the next image I'm going to use a page curl again I can curl from the top the sides the bottom or from any corner diagonally um, as I choose fit